Hello, everyone, and welcome. Happy Friday. Let's start with a deep breath as you arrive or as soon as you're ready to listen to this audio. I would love for you to start getting comfortable and allowing your body to rest in a position. Today is a special breath and body awareness uh, circle as I'd like to bring up to the front the current issue that we're dealing with in the world, and that is of Black Lives Matter and uh, racism, white supremacy, and all those deeply, deeply ingrained um, systemic beliefs uh, that are being uprooted right now. And I would love for us to allow our bodies to sink into this information, to allow our breath to connect with the body, to create space within so that anything that needs to be healed, that needs to be brought up, can come up and to really, to really be there and to really be present to all of what you're feeling, what you're holding on in this body. The world is heavy, the energy is heavy, and the topics that are currently present for many of us are not easy to be with. And so I am inviting you to find a comfortable, find a comfortable spot where you can be with yourself for just a few minutes. We're gonna focus on the breath, we're gonna focus on the body, and we're gonna bring up some of our own feelings and emotions here and now. So go ahead and get nice and comfortable in a position. <sighs> breathing in and breathing out. <laughs> we have a little toddler chiming in and by the way maybe this is a good reminder for all of us that if we have children close by what's happening right now and how you particularly you personally are handling what's happening in the world is shaping their future this is what's programming their own thought patterns this is what is making them create their own beliefs and their own ways of being in the world. So it's extremely important for all of us to be able to understand our own, our own ways of being and states of being and energy and vibration. So let's go ahead and think into the body. I invite you to breathe now and send the air all the way down into the base, into the bottom of your body. So focusing on that lower part of your body, your in between your hips in that pelvic area and just really breathing, truly filling up that area with with your air, with your breath. Allowing your body to fill up almost as if you're filling a cup with water and just breathing in, really paying attention and focusing on your body inside as you breathe in, allowing this breath to fill up in towards your chest, into your throat, into your head, and out from the top of your head. And again, when you breathe in again, allow your body to experience this feeling of expansion that happens within the body as you breathe in deeply pulling up the air into your abdomen into your stomach into your chest all the way up into your throat up into your head and out from the top of the head and this idea of breathing and and allowing the breath to really come inside the body is what will create space within so that the wisdom of your body can speak to you so that you can get connected and in touch with what is it that your body needs you to understand right now. And as we're going through this time period in our, in our world right now, where 
racism and anti-racism and people of color, black people, white people noticing what it feels like to be here and now. We're talking, talking about a very fundamental structural part of our lives that's being challenged right now. All of us, no matter what your skin complexion looks like, is being called to ask these deep questions within today. What is my structure built on? Where does my belief system stem from? Are those still true for me? Do I choose to continue going on with the same belief system? Have I ever challenged some of these belief systems? What does it look like if I challenge them? And a lot of deep, deep information then comes to the surface. And so let's go back into the body. Let's go back into the breath and focus on that. And I'm inviting you here to ask your body for a message. So let's start with any physical sensation that you might be feeling right in this moment. This doesn't have to be something that has been going on. Maybe it's something that's happening right now and you have not felt it up until this moment. Or maybe it's something that has been there for days or months or it's chronic and it continuously comes back. Maybe it's a sensation of sorts or a discomfort that is more audible, more, more sensible. And I want you to really identify what that sensation is within the body and also identify for yourself where in your body do you feel that. Our body is holding on to different energies in different areas and depending on where it is and how it's being held and what it feels like, there's a lot of information in there for you and what you need to do with it. For the purpose of this, what I will focus on right this moment is again, as you breathe and feel through the body, I would like to focus a little bit on the first chakra, the base of our spine, the very bottom of your uh, torso. And here we might feel things like lower back discomfort, hip pain, uh, knees, feet, any issues of the legs, any issues with blood circulation, so cold hands and feet, um, any issues with your bones, uh, so any kind of osteoporosis, any kind of bone fragility, and allow yourself to bring on any of that if it's present for you. And instead of now trying to figure it out, just giving yourself some space and saying something like, whatever feels comfortable here, but something in along the lines of, I, I accept that this will teach me something. I accept that this will give me a message that I need to hear. And so let's go ahead into a beautiful breath cycle here. So breathing in fully and deeply all the way, holding the air for a moment and then exhaling, really focusing on the area or areas that came up for you that felt uncomfortable maybe. and sending your air out. A simple question here is just almost like a mantra asking yourself, what do I need to know here? 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 And that curiosity, that inquiry, is what will open up the possibility of new information, new awareness to come into your being. 
allowing yourself that time and that space to be still, to be quiet, to inquire within, to focus on your breath, and to focus on your body. So we're sitting here and as you're sitting in a comfortable position, you may choose to do this. Place your hand on your heart and the other hand, so left hand on your heart, right hand just below your belly button into your lower abdomen there. And breathing deeply here. And I want you to now focus on the physical energy that your hands are giving off in both of these locations of your body, your heart and your lower abdomen. And so continue to breathe and continue to focus on the physical sensations right there. And to stay present to your breath here, I'll remind you and encourage you again to use this time to really consciously focus on this breath. The breath that gives you life. And I choke up a little bit every time I say this because I was actually present to the um, memorial for George Floyd yesterday. I caught that um, live streamed and they did an eight minute prayer, silent prayer. And I'm just reminded again, I remind myself every single day, but I'm just reminded how precious and vital our breath is and how incredible and healing it can be to consciously focus and breathe intentionally within your system, within your body. So as you engage with your breath here for the next few moments, really allow that to, allow that breath to be full, allow it to be expansive. Give yourself a deeper breath than you've experienced all day. Hold it in your body and notice what that's like. Then exhale it fully and notice what that's like. Tune into the wisdom of your heart, the wisdom of your body. Tune into your inner knowing, incredibly, incredibly powerful spirit. And usually how these um, circles go, we go into a visualization, but today I actually feel called to speak a little bit on the subject. Uh, so for the record, I am white. I'm of European white descent. And uh, I'm married to a black man and we have a child. And in the last week, more than ever, I've been I've been really reflecting deeply to to understand myself on a whole other level. We personally have dealt with um racism before, uh, had to overcome family and friends, um, having not outwardly racial behavior, but just knowing that there is a little bit of hesitation and, and things like that. And so I caught myself and I want to share this because I think it might be important and some someone listening to this may be able to 
really understand what this is about. And, and really, it's if you are not Black, you wouldn't understand what it's like to be black and i'm not attempting to say that i know what it's like because i don't but what i caught about myself was that i had a dialogue which is my my ego speaking i had a dialogue that said i'm not racist i'm far away from racist uh, i'm married to a black man i love his family who, who is also my family we have a daughter I have more black friends than I have white friends. <laughs> and and I went down that rab rabbit hole and, and something inside me felt wonky. Like it felt just like drained. And what I got to realize was that that is my privilege. That conversation is my privilege because that's not the reality out there and it's no longer okay for me to say i am anti-racism it is no longer okay to, for me to just say look at look at this i like i married into a black family i i'm far away from racist it's no longer okay to think that just because i've done some work on this that it's gone and that was my privilege and i own it and it's not okay. So I share this because I know deeply that there is something within us all that has been awakened, that has been, I would even say triggered. And I know that a lot of people are still not quite seeing why is it that Black Lives Matter, not all lives matter right now. It's about Black people and the deep stigma that they have carried embodied in their cells. By the way, next week we're going to do um, a bit more of a focused breath and body experience to really disembody actually some of these deeply ingrained um, energies that are still present. And again, coming back here, Coming back to the body and the breath, I share my brief, um, brief uh, moments of awareness over the last few days with you guys here because to me it's really important that we all check, check in. We all check in to see what is it that I'm being called to surface and to accept and to forgive. And as you know, all of you, well, if you're here listening, you may have heard me say this before, but awareness alone is not enough to change. And so we have to always take the process and see the process through to create that sustainable change we desire. And this is one of those times. And again, if you're a parent and if you have children around you, this is the most potent time that you're being called to really know how to process your emotions and it really does start with a moment of breath and a moment of awareness uh, because that is the first step and once you have that you are then able to bring it in with within your experience and actually process what it is that's there for you to move through we're all in this together in spiritual truth, yes, we absolutely are all one. We come from the same thing. And if you followed some of my visualizations before, you'll recall this beautiful centering into the body and allowing the energy of creator to come through and then be grounded into the earth. And of course, all bodies are beautiful and they're all made to do that. However, right now in these times, it's about the dark-skinned bodies. It's about the, the treatment or the, there's a word here that I'm looking for, the way that they have been treated and approached systemically, not by you specifically and personally, but just in general. 
and it's time to heal that. It's going to take some time. So I'm so happy that you've tuned into this and that on some level you're feeling the call to do the work, not to start doing the work, because if you're around me, you're likely or have likely been doing the work. And that's, that's perfect. This is why we're here and that's why we're needed. And let's continue. Let's continue to support each other. Let's continue to help each other, to guide each other, to protect each other, to stand up for each other, to point out the things that are not okay. Um, and to do it from a place of kindness and from a place of compassion, because that is important as well. So let's have, I will have a couple of moments of silence here. I thank you for listening and tuning into this. I'm just coming back to that body and to that breath, really focusing on expanding your lungs, your chest, your throat. And if you're here right now, live on this call, I'm going to tune into the, I'm going to look at the chat in a moment. So if there is something that is really present for you, um, any where you would like to bring it up, I'm here for another few minutes and we can definitely have a dialogue about it. And if you're catching the replay, you're welcome to um, connect with me on social media, on Facebook, your Facebook Messenger or email, just replying back to the email you get with these meditations. Also, if there's something that your body is needing or asking for that you feel you need some support and or, or just maybe even and, and even just a space to be able to express what it is your body is telling you, that's also valuable. Taking a deep breath here. And exhaling. Beautiful. And you're welcome to stay in this space for as long as you like. I'm going to end the, this particular call and recording. And if there are any questions, um, I'll address those. And we'll see you next Friday. Bye for now.